welcome and thanks for joining me for this virtual afternoon art session. I'm Susie with the Sun Valley Museum of Art and I want to share with you a fun project that connects to our current big idea, free play. The art in this exhibition reminds us of the importance of how play provides essential benefits for both kids and adults. Our project today is inspired by the artist Tucker Nichols, whose art is part of the exhibition Free Play. His paintings in this exhibition are whimsical. Some are completely abstract, while others represent familiar objects. They have heavy lines, bright colors, there are containers, a cargo ship, even a bowl full of marbles, and lots of circles and dots. To create this project, you need office supply stickers, markers and paper. If you happen to have some watercolor paints, colored paper, glue, and scissors at home, they are optional, but they would be fun to use too. So I'm going to use copy paper and I'm going to start with some office stickers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose a few and I'm going to stick them on the towards the top area of my paper, however you want, any random order. The next step is to turn these circles into flowers by drawing petals with markers. You can do ge geometric shapes like rectangles. You could make hearts all the way around. You could do lines. Or you could even do traditional petal shape, sort of that curved shape. So I finished coloring my flowers and you saw that I added a rectangular or square shape for a pot or a vase down here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a table and I'm going to add some stems. So to make my table, I'm going to start at the side of the paper. I'm going to come across when I get to my vase. I'm going to stop, lift up my marker, go to the other side and go all the way across. So it looks like it's sitting on a table. Then you can use a marker to put your flowers into the vase. Or if you want, you could use cut paper strips and glue them into your vase. The final option is to cut a vase out of paper. Okay, I finished my flower pot, my flowers for my friends, and I did a combination of markers and cut paper. If you want, you could just do markers or you could use crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have on hand. The last step I'm going to do with this other picture that I just did marker on is I'm going to take a wet paintbrush and I'm going to paint over the marker and it's going to bleed kind of like paint. That's another fun thing you could try if you want. By just adding water, it becomes paint. The reason this is called Flowers for Friends is that Tucker Nichols has created an inspiring online project called Flowers for Sick People. For our project, I want you to consider sharing your flowers with a friend. You can do this by taking a picture and emailing it, putting it in an envelope and sending it in the mail, or tucking it into a friend's mailbox when you're out on a walk with your family. Before you give it away completely, I want to see it too. Please tag us at Sun Valley Museum or use the hashtag SVMOA 
afternoon art to share your art with us on Instagram.